Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? This is your boy here. Chuck Colorado, the newly hired Chuck Colorado. That's right. I got a new job. I'm going to be making more money. Hopefully I can move out, finally get on with my life, and finally uh, grow up and be independent. So I'm looking forward to that. Today is a good day. I just had a great battle with my friend, my good friend, I should say, know him since uh, grade school, like most of you um, who are probably watching this. And there goes my screen. Uh, my good friend Ricardo Hernandez, who likes to name himself after women, and this is, uh, he's actually Brooke in this game, but he's the coach of the San Jose Sharpedos. I am the coach of the Washington Rotomskins. As you can see, we both brought our mascots with us. I am bringing uh, Quagsire, who has been uh, very good for me thus far this year. Um, oh, Rotom Wash, a uh, fortress who's new to the team, drop cell before him. Uh, I felt like I could really use a spinner um, so I didn't have to waste a move slot on uh, on a defogger for either Togekiss or Latias or something like that. So I felt like I really needed Fortress, and he helped out with some of the common weaknesses um, uh, around my team. I mean, I do have two Steel types now, um, but I have things that can resist a fire move uh, if need be. Um, it's neutral to Quagsire, and Latias can resist, and... I have Charizard X. I didn't bring him, though, as you see. So I got a Solvest Latias going, a Substitute Bisharp, and a uh, um, Togekiss. And then he has Claydol, Mega Aerodactyl, a Sylveon, a Moongus, who I was hoping that he didn't bring. Really glad he didn't bring the Galvantula, um, Sharpedo, and Darmanitan. So his physically attacking core is there, which has been the main theme of his team so far. And then Sylveon, who has been a nuisance for many people. So... Let's hop into the battle right here. Um, you can see me in the reflection. Hi, guys. How you doing? So, um, I expected him to lead off his Darmanitan, and I do get it absolutely right. And I'm going to lead off with Quagsire, and that is amazing. I didn't think he would go into Claydol here. I would think think thought he would go into Sylveon, predicting a Scald. Uh, and I'd probably have Heal Bell, so I can heal off the burn. But he goes into Claydol here. Really good move on his part because the Earthquake does nothing. Um, and then he's going to hit me with a Grass Knot. Ricky specifically put the Grass Knot for Quack for this matchup. Awesome play by him. Um, that's just great preparation on his part. I'm just going to Scald, um, you know, to get some damage off and maybe get a burn. Uh, but, yeah, I went for an Earthquake on that first turn because I expected the Sylveon to come in. Um, but awesome play by Ricky. Uh, putting the Grass Knot. So my Quagsire is going to be at 78 health, and that's going to come into play later in the match. So out comes Quagsire. Um, after he didn't really do much, uh, I don't think this Claydol could really do anything to Latia, so he's gonna get up rocks here, which is really good, and definitely, uh, we're a factor in this game. I'm just gonna get some offensive momentum here. I'm expecting him to go into Sylveon now, so I'm gonna Psy Shock, and I guess I thought this would do more, considering it attacks Sylveon's defense stat, but, uh, it really doesn't. Um, you know, I should really try, uh... Putting some more offensive power behind Latias to try to, like, break a wall here and there. But um, we'll have to see. So, Sylveon takes that actually really well. And uh, I'm not going to stay in here for a Moonblast or a Hyper Voice in case this is an offensive Sylveon. So, that's why I brought this guy, Togekiss. He's going to take some damage from rocks. Um, so, that isn't cool. Um, and he's going to take this Moonblast right her, Right there, right there. Gets slapped in his face. Um, but this is Roost Togekiss, so I'm okay with that. Lefties gets me a little bit back. Um, and I think we stay in for a couple turns right here just to feel in each other out. I wasn't sure if this thing had Toxic, but I was okay because I do carry Heal Bell on this Togekiss. So if he were to Toxic me, that would have been fine. I wanted the Scout on his end if he was going to be a Wish Protect set or anything like that. Um, I think we're going to stay in here for a couple turns and not really do much to each other, though, as uh, you'll see. But big things to note from that first set of turns was really the Grass Knot, which was a two-hit two KO on my Quagsire. So really good play by Ricky. The Rocks were up, which is another good play. Um, and the fact that he dodged my Earthquake because I didn't see the Claydol really coming in. Um, but that was a good play by him as well. So he is Protect, so I'm... He's protecting. I'm pretty sure he's a Wish Protect set. Um, just still sc scouting for that Toxic to see if he wants to do it. So, if he, We really can't do anything to each other. This is a stall war going on right now. 
Um, I'm just going to Thunder Wave in case he wants to bring in someone offensive, um, like a Darmanitan, who could Stone Edge me, or anything like that. Um, I would love to slow down that Darmanitan, but he's just going to keep going for Moonblast. Uh, he probably sees that no one on my team can really take him except Togekiss, so maybe he wants me to switch first. Um, and I do not want to do that. So I think this happens for a little bit more turns. I don't have any commentary to fill the space. So we're just going to stay in here and keep air slashing. Uh, do you get a flinch? So that's kind of cool. Um, didn't really need it. But I'll take it. <laughs> so the leftovers is just going to keep happening. A lot of dumb stuff is happening. Go for another air slash. I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Just waiting for... Uh, any, if anything would have really came in, it would have took decent damage from the Air Slash. I mean, an Aerodactyl, not, no, not really, but Aerodactyl's kind of frail, so. Yeah, so I'm just continually uh, Air Slashing. I think he's going to reveal his heal bell right here. Uh, maybe, if he can get a move off. <laughs> he just keeps getting paralyzed and flinched. and There it is, cool. Um, so, I now know that. I now know that he, he's heal bell, he's wish... He's pro oh, he hasn't shown the Wish yet, but he does. He's Protect, Heal Bell, Protect, Moonblast, and probably Wish. And I haven't seen Toxic yet, so... I'm going to Thunder... I'm just going to stay in and Thunder Wave. I want him to use Heal Bell again, so... I'm going to Thunder Wave and bait him to use Heal Bell again. Um, so I can hopefully get a switch into someone more offensive and scare this thing out of here. Um, so he's just going to Moonblast right there. Which is cool. Which is cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. There goes my screen again. This bitch better stay up. Stay up here. Okay, let's, let's just angle, angle a little bit back, sorry. Sorry for the shakiness, I'm recording off of my iPhone in case you didn't tell. Um, so I'm going to switch out into Rotom here. My plan is to trick off my scarf and get rid of this thing's leftovers. I, I'm pretty, I mean I can take a Moonblast, I don't know how well I can take it, but... He gets paralyzed, awesome. So I'm just going to stay in here and trick... Um, trick off my scarf. Uh, who, I don't think, he's not going to bring in the Aerodactyl Fear and probably Water or Electric Move. Move. So I'm just going to trick off my scarf. Uh, Ricky really liked this play. Um, so now he is Choice Scarf and he goes for Heal Bell. So he has Choice Scarf in the Heal Bell. Which is awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to go for a Willow here. Um, predicting someone else to obviously come in. Or he's just going to keep Heal Belling. Uh, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go for a Willow here. Um, he sends out Dreidel. A Hydro Pump. Oh, man, I probably should just Hydro Pump there, but... It's hindsight, so... Um, just went for a burn. And, uh, because I expected something to come in. I was expecting probably the Amoongus, honestly. I know I was. Actually, I know I was expecting the Amoongus. And I can't poison that, so any residual damage would have been cool. And then I could have just Volt Switched. I can't Volt Switch against this thing. And if he lives a Hydro Pump... I'm going to take a lot of damage to a Grass Knot, so I'm getting out of here. And I'm going to go into Latias. Uh, but he... I think he Toxics me here, which is an awesome play. Yeah. Didn't even go for the Grass Knot. Um, really good play on his part. Um, he's just going to Toxic me. I am carrying the Shadow Ball on this Latias, so... Uh, I'm pretty sure I just go for a Shadow Ball here, and then I'm going to get uh, a Defense Drop on his Sylveon. Uh, but it was a really good play Toxic in me there. I was fearing the Grass Knot. Um, so that's why I didn't want to stay in and Hydro Pump. Um, so, yeah. Went out to Latias. He's going to come in with the Sylveon. And he's going to take a Shadow Ball. I'm just trying to... I wanted to maybe see if he would stay in. Um, uh, I'm going to get the Special Defense Drop. But... Uh, I maybe could have stayed in here and tried to live a Moonblast and taken that thing out with a couple side shocks because I am a Salt Vest, but the Toxic damage is racking up. And I just wanted to play it safe, I guess. So I'm going to go out into Togekiss. These rocks are doing a little bit of a number. Um, he's just going to wish... Oh, he could have wished Protect stalled me with the Toxic, so that actually wouldn't have worked. Um, so I'm pretty sure I just Roost here. Um, as he's going to pass off his wish to the Clay Doll. Um, which is fine. I mean, that thing's at pretty high health already. That's cool. Uh, I get back up the full, so we're just trading health here. It's getting really stally. Um, I hope you're staying tuned. We're about uh, almost 10 minutes into this match here with a little pre-commentary, of course. Um, 
Yeah. So I'm going to switch out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can go into uh, Fortress right here, and I do. Uh, I do resist the Toxic. I, he doesn't know I have Heal Bell, but I didn't want Togekiss getting Toxic. So I mean, why? Um, oh, I don't. I'm immune to the Toxic. Sorry, don't resist it. I'm expecting him to switch right here. And I do make the right play, which is awesome. This is a good play on my part. I have no regrets about really any plays in this match. Um, I thought I made. I thought I played well. I thought I played well. Um, he, I, I predict, and I go for the Volt Switch. I'm predicting the Darmanitan to come in. I probably could have spun right there. I probably could have got up my own rocks. Uh, but then I probably would have had to sack off Quagsire, because Quagsire would have came in and probably taken two of anything that he wanted to right there. But I'm just going to Volt Switch out to Rotom. Um, I resist Flare Blitz. He can Earthquake me because of Levitate. So I'm um, he thinking he might Stone Edge. Um, he might stay and he's going to go for a Super Power, which is awesome. I'm so glad he did that. He's going to get um, a drop, attack drop, and all the other good stuff. There, my screen is flipping down. And I'm just going to stay in and go for the Hydro Pump. So I am going to take him out. Stay up, screen, please. Please stay up, please. It's always technical difficulties, man. I'm not even doing anything. It's just my screen being, being dumb. So I take out his Darmanitan. That all started from bolt switching with my Fortress, which is a, still a good play, I think, on my part. He's going to go out into Moongus. So I guess who wants to go to sleep? Because um, I know the Spore is coming. But I realize that Latias is poisoned and cannot be put to sleep. Um, and he does resist the... What's it called? I don't know. He does, oh, the Giga Drain. Um, but Ricky makes another good play here. I got, he's carrying, I guess, Hidden Power Ice. Uh, maybe specifically for me, but I'm going to Psy Shock here, and I'm really disappointed that this did not kill. Very, very disappointed. I, I don't Like I said, I don't know. I might need to put some more defensive prowess behind Latias, but really disappointed that didn't kill. He does get a crit on the Hidden Power Ice. I'm not sure if that came into play or anything, but... It happens. Toxic is going to rack up. Um, and he's going to withdraw here. Um, I knew he probably would. Uh, just because he needs that thing for some for Rotom Wash and Quagsire. I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball here. Trying to get a D-drop on the Sylveon. And I do get it. I do get it again. But I was like, you know what? I, I think a Psy Shock just might do more. A Psy Shock just, just might do more, so... I maybe should have pulled Latias when I knew that Amogus was going out, but that's high. <coughs> Excuse me, hindsight again. Um, so he's just gonna wish right here. After I get him down to low health, you know, I, I just, I, I just wanted to break this thing by sacking Latiasing and letting it, letting uh, it rack up some damage. So, excuse me. Um, he it wishes up. But he is going to withdraw into a full health Pokemon. So he loses his wish. Um, probably predicting Iron Head. I'm just going to go for a sub because I knew he probably predict the Iron Head and switch out. He is going to Earthquake me and I am carrying the Expert Pell. And I do have that big old BB, the double B, the Brick Break. And I'm going to hit this Dark type up right in its face. Bop! And I'm pretty sure the Expert Pell helped me kill there. I mean... Sharpedo is very frail, um, but I don't know. So that's cool. So there's, there's threats. The, the threats are down, guys. I'm killing threats. Uh, my team is taking a lot of damage from rocks, as you'll see. It's racking up. I'm just going to stay in here and go for a Sucker Punch to get as much damage on this thing as I can. Because nothing, I can, can't really switch anything into it without dying. Um, but it's really cool. I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch and take this thing down to uh, half. That does a lot. That's all. Uh, that's all I wanted out of Bisharp. He's gonna Fire Fang. Like, wow, wow. It's really good scouting. He does have the Fire Fang, um, and I'm gonna go out to Quagsire. And remember that Grass Knot that he took earlier, and now Rocks damage. And I'm just gonna Scald to try to kill this thing. He goes for an Ice Fang. Might have been his best move, and I live, and I flinch. Oh, that was a killer. That was a killer. I could have Scalded this thing. Potentially killed it and potentially burned it, and that would have been absolutely amazing. And then an earthquake is just going to take me out from this range because not even Quagsire can live that. 
So my team is just so low on health, and I really have nothing that wants to take a hit. I go into Rotom, like hoping he'll miss a Stone Edge. Nope, doesn't miss the Stone Edge. Rotom's not going to live that. He couldn't Earthquake me there, and I resisted both of his Fang moves. I don't think Fortress can take a Fire Fang, because I now know that he has that. Um, so I go into Togekiss, hoping a Stone Edge will miss again. And he Ice Fangs, probably not wanting to risk the miss. And he crits me. And I'm not sure if that mattered either. Uh, really don't know. Toge it's especially defensive Togekiss, so probably not. But here comes Fortress. I think this is my last guy. Aerodactyl is sweeping my team up because nothing is at a high enough health that it can take a hit. Here comes the Fire Fang, and Fortress ends up living it with 21 HP. If I would have just known that, I could have gone into him at the freaking start. And I wouldn't have to sack off Quagsire, Rotom, and Togekiss. Oh, my team is completely done now. So, <laughs> um, yeah. This is my last guy. I think he has, what, Claydol, Amoongus, and Sylveon. They're all at low health. Like, Sylveon is so low. This thing got a regenerator, which is annoying, but he's going to spore me. And I think we just sitting in here for, I don't know how many turns. And Ricky is uh, actually going to end up just winning this match. I'll save you guys the result, but because there's nothing I can do to this thing. And I just get put to sleep, so... Uh, awesome game, awesome game played by Ricky. He brought, uh, he, he prepared well. I was hoping he, I mean, he had enough time because my tired ass couldn't muster up a battle yesterday, and that's, that's completely my fault, but, um, the Washington Rotomskins are gonna suffer their first loss, but we're okay. Um, we really felt like that we played good out there. I mean, I really don't have any plays where I'm like, I, 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 like, hit myself in the head. I was like, wow, you're an idiot, Charlie. Like, I didn't have one of those plays this game. And that is, like, that is honestly the most positive thing that I can take away is that I didn't have, like, a, a, a you know, a bonehead play or anything like that. So I'm really proud of my guys. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to next week against Kyle, who is still undefeated. So I'm probably going to need to win and beat him if I want any shot at winning uh, the season overall and getting that Earth Badge. So that uh, I'm really looking forward to our match. So that flinch on Quagsire really hurt. Um, I don't know if that was the game or not. I really can't say. But I know that really hurt. <laughs> um, and I just had I didn't have anything for the Aerodactyl um, in the long run. Everything was already too weakened. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah. So, I, uh, I'm proud of my guys. I don't know what else to say. I'm just, uh, I'm just filling time until this match is over. I guess you guys don't want to see the whole thing, but I kind of want to see the whole thing, but, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a hard fought loss, you know? I have no regrets. No regrets. I'm just going to get up rocks just for, just, I was just joke. I was just messing around like I didn't even really care because I'm pretty sure this next giga drain is going to take me out so oh I'm at one I actually just wanted to die I really just wanted to die fortress is just like nah I'm not having it not dying not dying today um yeah uh <laughs> I don't know what else to say <laughs> uh just gyro balling for the for the for shits and gigs uh, yeah, I was really hoping he didn't bring a Moogus. Really glad he didn't bring Alvantula. Um, yeah. That is about it. And there I go. So, I'm pretty sure it's a 3-0. I want to see this. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Oh, I don't think I killed Clay also. Really good game by Ricky. He deserves a lot of credit. Um, there were hacks on both ends, and I thought he played really well. So, looking forward to next week. Uh, we're going to bounce back. And I am loving this GBA, guys. Thought it was a really fun match, even though I lost. So nothing can bring me down today because your boy has a new job. But I will see you guys next week. Later.